All right, in this video, we're going to do 1992-AB4-BC1. So these are from the AP calculus exam, uh, free response questions. And it's a question that's going to be about implicit differentiation. So let's see if we can do it. So um, consider the curve defined by the equation y plus cosine of y equals x plus 1 between 0. Uh, so y is between 0 and 2 pi. So this is a very y-focused problem, I guess. Um, we want to find dy dx in terms of y, write an equation for the vertical tangents to the curve, um, and then find the second derivative in terms of y. So I think we're going to be able to do all that. So let's, let's take a look at the first part. So a, we're going to find d dx, because it's still x is the independent variable, y is the dependent variable of uh, y plus cosine of y is equal to d dx of x plus 1. All right. So then on the right-hand side here, the derivative of y is dy dx. The derivative of cosine of something is negative sine of that thing. But then chain rule gives me a dy dx because the derivative of y is dy dx. And then that's like the main mistake that I see people making with these is they forget that y is a function of x, so the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx. I mean, like, it just has to be, but, you know, people forget. And then the derivative of x is 1, the derivative of 1 is 0, so that's good. And then we will get, uh, take dy dx out of both, uh, and then I guess we can just say equals 1 over 1 minus the sine of y. And that's it. I think that that is dy dx in terms of y. So final, final answer there. All the work is necessary though. So like I'm highlighting that just to show you what I think the final answer is. You need all of it. Uh, all right, B, write an equation for each vertical tangent to the curve. So vertical tangent means if we have a vertical tangent, then dy dx is going to be undefined, right? Because what kind of line has a, uh, sorry, a vertical line has what kind of slope? It has an undefined slope, right? You go up infinity over nothing. Um, so undefined slope, which means in this case that 1 minus the sine of y must be equal to 0, which means that the sine of y is equal to 1. Now, we were told something. We were told that y is between 0 and 2 pi. So I need to think, like, where is sine equal to 1? between 0 and 2 pi, that's when y is equal to pi over 2 as the only value that's in there. So y is equal to pi over 2. But this question is about vertical tangent lines. Vertical tangent lines have equations that look like x equals, right? So we're looking for x equals something. So I now know what y is. I need to figure out x. How can I do that? Well, to do that, I'm going to have to go back here. So let me write this down and I'll take it with me. Uh, y plus cosine of y equals x plus 1. So I'm going to drag this guy down here. So I know that y plus cosine of y is equal to x plus 1. And now I know that y is equal to pi over 2. So pi over 2 plus the cosine of pi over 2 equals x plus 1 which means uh, the cosine of pi over 2 is 0. So pi over 2 minus 1 equals x. So the equation of the vertical tangent is x equals pi over 2 minus 1. That's your vertical tangent line. So it's the only place on the interval where y is between 0 and 2 pi uh, where the derivative is going to be undefined. So that's what we get. And then uh, it does say for each, which is a little unnerving. But I mean, we did it for each of them. It's just that there's only one. So like each sort of feels like it implies more than one. But I don't think there is more than one uh, because we need to equal. There's only one place on the unit circle where, where y is equal to, you know, where sine is equal to 1. It's at pi over 2. All right, second derivative in terms of y. So what I'm going to do is take my first derivative with me and then uh, find the derivative with respect to x of that, which will give me an answer in terms of y. 
So in terms of why, it just means that your answer only has y's in it. Dx of this, dx of this. So on the left-hand side, this is where the notation comes from. This crazy, we're taking the derivative twice and with respect to x twice. Later in your life, you'll do multivariable stuff where you'll find the derivative once with respect to x, then with respect to y, maybe then with respect to z, like who knows, but this is with respect to x every time. So here, um, so I think in my mind, what I'm gonna do, well, I'm gonna do it, I'm actually gonna write it. We're gonna find the derivative with respect to x of, I'm gonna bring this up as one minus the sine of y to the negative first. So I can just chain rule this thing instead of um, quotient rule, which like I just don't wanna use on it. So it's gonna be, negative one minus the sine of y to the negative second times the derivative of one minus sine of y, which is the derivative of negative sine is negative cosine of y. The derivative of y is dy dx. So let's see how this plays out. So this is gonna be a positive cosine of y over one minus sine of y squared times dy dx. Now, if you remember, dy dx is this. This is dy dx. So I don't want my derivative in terms of y and dy dx. I want it all in terms of y, so I have to make another substitution here. I'm gonna write the second derivative again. Sometimes, I don't know, just that, that like naked left-hand side with nothing right in there. It's a little, little disquieting, you know? Cosine of y, one minus sine of y squared. And then the derivative of, so this is the quantity, one over one minus sine of y, right? Because we're, we're substituting, blah, follow the green all the way down. Substituting that, this ends up being the second derivative of y with respect to x is cosine of y over the quantity one minus the sine of y cubed. There you go. I believe that's I believe that's my final answer. All of the work is necessary, but I'm highlighting it to let you know that I think I'm done. And there we go. So we got a vertical tangent line. We got dy dx. So much was dependent upon dy dx being correct. They don't really do that on the exam anymore. Now it's more like, you know, Part A will be like, show the derivative is this, and then part B and C maybe could follow from there. Um, but it, you know, if you had, in 1992, if you had gotten this part wrong, you were kind of in a lot of trouble for B and for C. C, I guess you could still have done without a problem, but B, you were probably in a lot of trouble because like, there's no, if you get it wrong, there's no guarantee there even is a place where the tangent line is vertical, you know, like so many things. All right. so. Done with this, uh, I hope you have found this video helpful and uh, good luck.